Islam is here to stay, it's not going anywhere, and it is rapidly increasing. Right, at least he spoke the truth there. It's the only religion that was ever created to deny the fact that Jesus is God. Many Muslims make the what? claim that the Quran... What did I expect? Of course he couldn't keep up the truth longer than five seconds. It is the only religion that denies Jesus Christ to be God. This is absolutely ridiculous, of course, because Judaism not only denies that Jesus Christ is God, supposedly, but denies him as the Messiah, denies him as a prophet as well. And if you scroll back a little bit further, Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, etc., they all deny, of course, that Jesus Christ supposedly is a God. It is essentially just Christianity, Trinitarian Christianity, that claims that Jesus Christ is God, nobody else. Many Muslims make the claim that the Quran is the written word of God, meanwhile the Bible is somehow corrupted and not the word of God. But once we read the Quran together, okay. you're good. Those statements are so null and void, man. Yeah, every single religion claims that their book is the word of God. The Christians claim that their book is the word of God. The Jews claim that the Torah is the word of God. And the New Testament is not. The Muslims claim that the Quran is the word of God. The Sikhs claim that their revelation is revealed by God, etc., etc., you name it. Why is it always an attack on Islam? As if those claims are exclusive to Islam. We know why. Did you know Let's that the Quran make, make. proves that Islam was written by Satan? When Muhammad received revelation to write the Quran, he claimed that he was visited by angel Gabriel when he yeah. went to a cave to worship Allah. The great miracle of Islam is that although Muhammad was illiterate and couldn't read or write, his mm -hmm. writings were of divine nature because this supposed angel helped him write it. However, in Sahih al-Bukhari 3, uh, we learn that this okay. angel... So which one is it? In the Quran or in the Hadith? Because you're quoting Hadith, but you're attributing it to the Quran. You say this is found within the Quran, but it is clearly not because you yourself are quoting the Hadith. So if you're speaking about certain proof that you want to find to further your argument, apparently you're not finding it in the Quran and there Therefore, you're debunking yourself by claiming that the Quran therefore must be written by Satan. Moreover, you cannot even formulate a proper sentence because as you just said, Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was illiterate. But then later on, you claim those are his writings. No, they're not his writings because Prophet Muhammad wasalam, was not writing down anything. He was receiving revelation. So pin Muhammad to the ground three times in a row to the point where Muhammad felt physical pain to where his body couldn't bear it anymore. And he ended up being forced to write what this angel told him to. Let's read it together and you tell me. Yet again, you, so you have absolutely no basic knowledge of Islam, but somehow you feel entitled to make a video. The question truly is here. Of course, who is guided by God and who is guided by the devil? What gives you the permission? What gives you the motivation even to speak on the subject matter? Yet again, Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, did not write down anything by himself. Moreover, you mentioned he's been pinned down forcefully. Even if that were so, what is the issue with that? How is that falsifying Islam? Because Prophet Muhammad was receiving revelation which was shattering to him physically. Somehow this is supposed to be an argument against Islam. It makes no sense whatsoever.